Hello, traders. Gary Wagner here. It is 1220 in Honolulu, 520 in New York on Wednesday, 8th day of March, 2023. And this is uh, the Daily Report for Gold and Silver. Chairman Powell concluded his two-day testimony to Congress today, and we certainly saw the extreme volatility characterized by a sharp decline in gold and large move up in the dollar, completely abating. Gold traded to a higher low than yesterday of $1,813.40. The high today, $1,828.70 with the most active April contract currently trading lower by $1.90 or 0.10% and fixed at $1,818.10. The dollar was also very quiet, gaining 0.07% with the dollar index currently fixed at 105.665. Lastly, Silver declined by 0.47% or 9 cents, taking the most active March contract to $20.10.5. Although gold had a strong performance at the beginning of the month, that has changed with yesterday's dramatic $37 plus price decline as seen on this monthly chart. Although there is two days left in trading this week, when we compare performance of last week, which had a strong price increase to this week, we have almost erased all of the gains from last week. However, the way the week finishes up will be largely dependent on the jobs report numbers that come out on Friday. We are looking at a daily candlestick chart of gold futures. And on this chart, when we compare the action of yesterday, which is an exceedingly sharp drop in pricing, to today's in which we are getting a doji and it is in the morning star position, we have to acknowledge that although gold traded to a higher low than yesterday and a higher low than the previous lows that came in at around 1810, where gold prices end up on Friday will be 100% based upon the release of the Labor Department's jobs report. If that report comes in over current forecasts, which are between 200 and 225,000, we could expect to see a drop in gold prices based on the fact that the Federal Reserve could use that data to implement a half a percent rate hike rather than the earlier perceived rate hike of a quarter percent or 25 basis points. However, if it comes in at 200,000 or below, that would be exceedingly bullish for gold in that it would lessen the probability that the Federal Reserve would have a more aggressive rate hike when they meet for the March FOMC meeting, which begins on the 21st and concludes on the 22nd of this month. Also, On the 14th, we have the CPI inflation index coming out, and that will be combined with Friday's report to give the Federal Reserve the last data to make their final decision when they meet in a couple of weeks. Because gold traded to a high of $1,828 per ounce, which is our entry price for those that did not cancel the limit order on Sunday last week, we are recommending that our more conservative traders who are still long April gold look to get out at 1828 or better. My recommendation is to put a price order in or a limit order to exit the trade at 1830 or 31. And our subscribers that are extremely aggressive, our recommendation is to maintain that current long position at 1828 and your stop at 1808. And if the jobs report does come in under estimates, we would see gold have a solid rise following the release of Friday's report. This has been Gary Wagner wishing it was always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the next daily update and review. Bye-bye.